morning it's nice to have you back again hope you're enjoying your stay at home today we're having a wonderful topic on civic education civic education and the topic says national consciousness can we say it national consciousness do you know what it means to be conscious it means to be aware of something you are responsive to your surrounding when you talk about national consciousness it means you are aware of your nation you are responsive to the things happening around your nation you are loyal to your nation okay so when we talk about national consciousness the learning objectives includes the things that we should know that at the end of this lesson we should be able to know these things at the end of the lesson i should be able to state the meaning of loyalty uh, you analyze the evidences of loyalty you describe this loyalty and enumerate consequences of this loyalty you know this loyalty is the opposite of loyalty so these are the expectations that is expected of you at the end of this lesson that you should know i hope you are listening pay great attention so what as we move further we'll talk about the key words words that we should come across as we learn here are the key words that we should expect number one is consciousness consciousness you could check it up in your dictionary later you find out the meaning of consciousness to be when you are aware of something not just being aware you are responsive you are responding to that awareness okay we'll still talk about loyalty loyalty you know when you are talking about being conscious of your nation you are loyal to your nation so loyalty has to do with faithfulness faithfulness or a devotion to a person an institution or a country when you are loyal to your nation to your state to your workplace to your school it means that you are devoted all you think about are the things that will move your school forward the things that move your state forward the things that move your nation nigeria forward okay so when we talk about service we still talk about service service are the things you do when you render a service remember that civic education involves around the uh, duties and our rights to our nation and all these things are part of the things we should do as loyal citizens of nigeria now the key words that we should look into are the key words number one is consciousness You are conscious of your nation. You are not negligent to the things that should move your nation forward. Loyalty. You are loyal to your nation. Number three, service. You render selfless service to your nation for obedience. These are the key words that we should look out for in the course of this lesson consciousness loyalty service obedience now we are going to talk about the meaning of loyalty because national consciousness involves our loyalty to our nation to the family uh, to our community to the school and to the country at large okay so loyalty like i said is being devoted loyalty 
is a devotion. You know, when you are devoted to a cause, everything about making that cause successful is at your teeth. That's what you look out for. Is devotion to a person to your school to your family community state or country So loyalty means devotion. When you are devoted to a cause, all you do is the things that will make it move forward. Remember, we said that national consciousness has to do with being aware and responsive to one's surrounding. The surrounding has to do with your state and your nation, your school, your family. Okay? So, we have evidences of loyalty. Things that show that you are loyal to your family, to your school, to your nation, and to your state. Number one is obedience. Remember, part of the key word is obedience. When you are obedient, you are respecting the laws that are in the constitution for example you want to cross the road you observe the traffic lights even when you are you are uh, trekking when you are driving that is part of the obedience a loyal person obeys and respects his or her parents teachers and elders these are evidences of loyalty Things that shows that you are loyal. Evidences of loyalty. Number one is obedience. Obedience. A loyal person has to be obedient. It's an evidence. You cannot claim to be loyal when you are disobedient. Number two is defense. Do you know what it means to defend something? Defense. A loyal person defends your family. You don't just come and when somebody is attacking your family, you just say, uh, Must I be the one to do this? But when you are a loyal person, you defend your family, you defend your country. You don't see someone trying to vandalize the social amenity and you look away. No, as a loyal citizen of Nigeria, you should protect the government's properties because we are all part and parcel of this nation that makes us loyal. So, now, the number three is respect for one's nation. You have so much respect for your nation. No matter what is going on in your nation, you should still respect your nation you should pray for your nation when you are loyal you respect your nation and you as well do things that move your nation forward now giving assistance a loyal person gives assistance yes there are people that are not um traffic wardens but when they come to a place that has that the traffic is so tight someone can just park by the roadside and say let me ease the traffic and they'll start assisting it's all about giving assistance they wouldn't say oh this is not my job am i a policeman am i a member of the road safety am i a special marshal no but they render assistance these are evidences of loyalty you know when you are conscious of your nation you are supposed to be loyal to your nation you make personal uh, sacrifice the number four is that you make personal sacrifice making personal sacrifice 
It's not just to your nation alone. You make personal sacrifice to your school, to your family, to your workplace. And these things will move the nation forward. Now you render loyal service to the nation. Okay. Hope you are listening. And we are becoming loyal citizens of Nigeria. Okay. So we are moving over to loyal, our loyal services to the nation. Remember, all these things are under our national consciousness. Our national consciousness. Loyal services to the nation. There are things you do, it shows that you are rendering loyal services to our nation, Nigeria. Number one is National Youth Service Corps. National Youth Service Corps. They render loyal service to their fatherland. National Youth Service Corps. Otherwise known as the NYSC. They are known as what? N Y S C. It was established with the view of properly encouraging and developing common ties among Nigerian youths. For example, when you are through with your university education, you are supposed to go on a compulsory one year national youth service to your nation, Nigeria, where you could be posted outside your state to go and see other youths from other states then you render services to the community that you are posted to peradventure you don't even know how to speak their language but in the course of time you learn their culture that's what we talk about um, diversity unity in diversity we bring about unity as we do these things we learn to live together with ourselves without having any chaos okay now we have the number to which is the military service the military service how many of us have seen soldiers i know we know what it means to be a soldier these are military men they render military services to our nation nigeria you know they, 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 they focus on defending our nation from enemies. They defend our boundaries and make sure that we are free from attacks. They are rendering military services. Examples are the Air Force, the Nigerian Navy, the Nigerian Army, and so on. Now we have the Law Enforcement Agency. These are people that render loyal services to the nation. Law enforcement agencies. I hope you are taking note of this. Law enforcement agencies. These are people that take the comprise of the police, the immigration, the customs, the prisons. They are the ones that enforce laws in the nation. They help to maintain law and order. They help to maintain law and imagine a, a situation we don't have the police people. People will just be living anyhow. Someone can just come and punch someone to death and get away with it. You see, but when they remember that there are law enforcement agencies, that will enforce law against anyone that did not abide by the rules and regulation in the nation, they will comport themselves and do the needful and do the right things. So these law enforcement agencies, their loyal services help the citizens to behave aright. Now we have the fourth one, which is the voluntary services. What did I say? Voluntary services. This is where you get the 
members of the Boy Scouts, Red Cross, Girls Brigade, and all that. They render voluntary services. They don't pay them. But they do these things. You see Red Cross, those ones there, they come to maybe um, government functions where, for example, children that go on March past during 27th May, they could be there to attend to anyone that has injury. They render face aid services. So this was the render voluntary services. They don't pay them. They volunteer to do this, which means this is the same thing we're talking about, about being loyal to our nation. The next one is effect of this loyalty. All these things are part of the national consciousness. National consciousness. So this loyalty is opposite of loyalty. What did I say? This loyalty is opposite of loyalty. When you are disloyal, it means you are not devoted to your nation. You are not doing things that will move your nation forward. You are not responding to the laws of the nation. You don't abide by the rules and regulation of your school. You, you, you do things the way you like. That's what we talk about when we talk about disloyalty. That person is disloyal. And I know I don't have disloyal poopings. We are not disloyal. We are loyal to our families. We are loyal to our community. We are loyal to our school. And we are loyal to our country at large. All these things, as we start being loyal from our families, it will build us to become loyal citizens. It will make us to be what? Loyal citizens. So this loyalty is an act that is not tolerated in any society at all. Note this. This loyalty is not allowed, it's not tolerated, it's not tolerated. Even in the school, at home, in your workplace, when you grow up and start working, this loyalty is a no-no for any establishment. It's not tolerated in any world establishment or in any of the any level of the society so everyone should make copies of our mind to become loyal citizens loyal world citizens so when you know that this loyalty is not tolerated in any part in any level of the society in the family, in the school, in the state, and in the country at large. So you don't have option than to be loyal. Now we have effects of this loyalty. Things that this loyalty, when you are disloyal, the things that will happen to that person. But I know that we are loyal people. We are not disloyal. We are obedient. We are respectful and we pay attention to do the needful in our families, in our school, in our state, and in the society at large. Okay, now the following are the, fair, are the effects of this loyalty. Number one, it can lead to attack by external enemies. For example, we talked about the military service. If a military man decides to be disloyal in his or her service to the nation, it has a consequence. It has a negative effect on the nation. For example, if they are sent to the boundary to secure the boundary from attacks from enemies and they decide to shy away from their duties and do their own, go their own way, the enemies will come and notice that nobody is trying to secure the country and they will invade the country. Imagine that. That would be so bad. 
So this loyalty is something no one should think about because it's not tolerated in any level of the society. The number two is lack of development. When we are disloyal citizens, there will be development. You can imagine that. Because if we tend to look away from the social amenities that the government provides and people will just spoil all of them, you find out that we wake up and not see anyone again. But when we make up our mind to protect those things and become loyal citizens, you see that there will be development. So, number two effect of this loyalty is lack of development. What did I say? Lack of development. There will be development. And you would like it. Imagine when you are supposed to just be under a shade of the bus stop and you find out that there is none. You will feel the heat. You will be happy. So, we as, as loyal citizens of the nation, we shouldn't think about being disloyal at any level. Even to our parents, to our teachers, to everyone around us, we should imbibe the attitude of loyalty. Number three is that it can lead to failure. Yes, any child that is not loyal to the parents is not making any headway. You find out that your parents are not happy with you. They won't be wishing that person well. You see that the person is heading to failure. And I know none of us want to fail in life. None of us want to fail in our vocation. None of us want to fail in our dreams and in our aspirations. So we should be conscious of our nation. And the nation starts from our family, which is the basic unit. Okay? I hope you're enjoying the class. Myself, I'm enjoying it. I'm becoming more loyal in any way that I've exhibited nonchalant attitude to the things that I should show low consciousness of nationality to my nation, Nigeria. This will rekindle our loyalty. We should think about how to move our nation forward. Remember that national consciousness means to be aware and to be responsive. Because it's one thing to be aware of something and another thing is to respond to it. So as we are aware of our nation and the things that we should do, we should respond to these things so as to move our nation forward. I know we've had a nice time with this. We are coming to the end of this lesson. But before then, I'll be giving us our homework, which will be written and submitted to the platform. I'll be looking forward to getting the homework and your responses, okay? Wonderful answers from you as we pay attention, okay? So the number one question is, in your own words, Define loyalty. Remember, we talked about loyalty as being devoted to our nation, to a cause, to our community. Okay? Now, the second question is, in three sentences, in three sentences, examine The consequences of this loyalty. Remember that we said that this loyalty leads to lack of lack of what development. When we are not loyal to our nation, the nation will not develop. Okay? And the last one is state the full meaning of NYFC.
Remember I said that they are the ones that render compulsory one year selfless service to their nation. Hope you are seeing it. In your own words, define loyalty. Tell me what loyalty is. And in three sentences, examine the consequences of this loyalty. State the full meaning of NYSC. Remember, we said as National Youth Service School. With this, we have come to the end of this class. Looking forward to having you again. Bye. Have a nice time. Thank you. And God bless you.